Hi guys, it's Denry from Craft of Giving and today I want to share with you this really fun hot glue gun mini photo frame necklace idea. You will need to find a silicone mold that has little photo frames like I have here and go ahead and fill that photo frames or the ones you want to use with some hot glue. Don't be afraid to go over the edges as we will be tidying that up a bit later. This just ensure that you capture all the little details. Go ahead and insert an eye pin needle while the glue is still hot and cover it with some more glue to secure it in. Allow your hot glue to cool completely to harden. Carefully remove it from your silicone mold and if yours has a few little air pockets like mine has here, go ahead and add a little bit more hot glue to your mold and press your necklace pendant back into the mold, pressing quite hard to ensure that all the glue sort of spreads into those little holes and allow that to cool and harden completely. Remove your pendant from your silicone mold once it has dried or hardened completely and you're ready for the next step. As you can see there is a little bit of an overflow from when we filled our molds. Go ahead and cut that away with a crafting knife. Now if you're not confident with a crafting knife, please ask an adult to help you and be careful not to cut yourself. Once you're satisfied with your little frame, go ahead and select a colour of acrylic paint that you want to paint. I'm, I'm painting mine gold and I'm starting with a mocha colour just as an undercoat. Allow your frame to dry completely before attempting the next step. While you wait for your paint to dry, it's time to focus on the photos. Now I've selected my photos and pre-measured the diameter of my frames and resized my photos accordingly. I went ahead and printed it off and laminated the little photos. Now I laminated just so it protects the photo, even though we will be glazing the photo later. But as it's just printed on normal paper, I didn't want the paper to sort of smudge from applying moisture to it. So go ahead and print off your photos, laminate if you wish and cut them out. It is advisable to test your photos so, but make sure that your frames have dried completely from the paint before you do this. If you need to trim your photos do it by only trimming off a small amount from the edges first. You want your photo to fit quite snug inside the frame but not create any bulges or be too small and fall out. Go ahead and add your second layer of paint if you need. I'm painting mine gold as I said so I'm doing that and allow that to dry completely before we continue. Once your paint has dried completely go ahead and create a loop with a pair of pliers. Using a little bit of Mod Bodge go ahead and add a little bit of that inside your photo frame just to glue the photo inside. Now this is where it's handy to have pre-measured your photo so it will slip in nicely. Go ahead and press that down making sure there's no bulges or air pockets and remove any of the excess Mod Podge that may be pulling up from underneath. I painted all of my frame with the Mod Podge just to seal it in and create a nice shine. You'll need to allow your frame to dry completely before adding it to your favourite necklace. And there you have it. Here I made another black frame with a black and white photo on a black chain just to give you another idea. Now if you like this video please give it a thumbs up, comment down below, share it with your family and friends and subscribe to my channel. I upload videos every Monday and Thursday and I like to make videos on handmade gift ideas and other fun DIY projects. I thank you for watching and I'll catch you next time. Bye!